to the War Room. I'm your host, Owen Schroyer, honored in this hour to be joined by Dr. Shiva Ayadu Ray, who has a big announcement, or I guess had a big announcement, made it this weekend. Shiva, thank you for joining me today. Hey, Owen, how are you? Great to be on the show. Doing great. Glad to have you back. I watched some of your activity over the weekend. Uh, you did make me privy to the announcement you were going to make over the weekend, and that announcement is you have now announced that you're going to be running as an independent no longer as a Republican against Elizabeth Warren in Massachusetts, but now as an independent. Tell me, what was your motive behind that decision? Well, uh, frankly, Owen, uh, the bottom line is we declared our independence on Veterans Day, November 11th, because uh, the reality is we were dumping the GOP establishment because they're frankly irrelevant in Massachusetts. And more importantly, they're essentially part of the deep state and the Democratic Party. They have no intention of winning this election. And their real goal is to toss up uh, a situation where they want to uh, lose to Elizabeth Warren because they have an arrangement with the Democratic Party. That's what's really going on in Massachusetts. And, you know, I like to be a winner. I like to win. And after a while, you start seeing that you're being essentially set up to lose. And I don't want to lose because we're here really fighting for the American people. And the bottom line is Elizabeth Warren, as we recognize that she's part of the not so obvious establishment, and the Massachusetts GOP is part of that not so obvious establishment. More importantly, Owen, when you really look at the numbers, there's 2.3 million independents in Massachusetts, 429,000 quote unquote Republicans, and about 1.5 million Democrats. And when you work out the numbers and you look back and you realize that Donald Trump actually got 1 million votes in Massachusetts without even trying. You know, um, uh, locker up Hillary Clinton got 2 million votes. And but Trump didn't spend any money here. And when you look at those numbers, nearly 80 percent of those votes came from independents. So it's clear there's a silent majority in Massachusetts who are looking really for leadership. So it, it's the numbers just work out. And particularly in a midterm, uh, Owen, it makes sense for us to do this. And the reality is we've been getting a massive amount of feedback, tons of emails, tons of social media uh, yesterday, actually, uh, uh, was fortuitous. I met with Steve Bannon. You may see some of the pictures where Steve was actually holding up my uh, T-shirt, which said "Declare Your Independence." So I think this is what needs to be done because I don't want to, you know, give all of my hard work to uh, the Massachusetts GOP establishment, which is essentially the other uh, flip side of the Democratic Party. It's no reason to do that and wake up in April and realize that they screwed us. Yeah, and I think that you, as you said, you clearly saw the setup coming. The GOP didn't want you to represent them. They didn't want you to be running against Elizabeth Warren. They wanted you to disappear. And I think you did the right thing by going independent. And when you break it down, the way you kind of just broke it down as far as how the independent vote is concerned. Plus, I think there's another back end issue where some of the Democrats might even be tired of Elizabeth Warren and they might be willing to vote for another candidate, i.e. you. Do you think that the numbers are in your favor right now? Because I was shocked when I first heard this. I was like, oh, man, oh, you know, he's not running as Republican. I understand why. But then I watched your videos. I saw the excitement that you're drawing up with your grassroots campaign. I started to think a little more advanced down the line. And I realized actually going independent was the perfect move. Did you have any yeah. uh, cold feet before you were well, doing this? Well, no. I mean, look, I'm a numbers guy, right? I do have these four degrees from MIT. You know, you learn how to do the math. And you work out the math. Wait, 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 wait. It's not Elizabeth Warren with the four degrees from, I, no, from, no, I, no, from it, MIT? It, it's not Elizabeth Warren that invented email? Oh, okay, I'm just making sure. No, no I, mean, I mean, here's, you know, you bring up an important point that we brought up in our, in our launch as an independent. If you look at the reality of Massachusetts, right, it got the lowest public integrity rating. These politicians are very good at corruption, best at corruption. The worst infrastructure, 47th in the country. And... The, the highest in opioid addiction, three times the national average, all brought to you by Harvard. I mean, think about Mitt Romney, Harvard graduate, Charlie Baker, never Trumper, Republican Harvard graduate, and Elizabeth Warren, Harvard graduate. Now you go down the street, there's a high tech Votech school there called MIT, which is where all the hardworking nerds are. 33,000 businesses came out of MIT, two trillion in revenues generated. So who's actually producing value for this country in America. It's actually these high tech blue collar workers in many ways, these MIT guys down the street. Yet these lawyer lobbyists keep getting elected because they're bamboozling everyone as though they're uh, the elite that are doing something. What's more interesting, Owen, is when you really look at it, Harvard University, 
is a fake university. They're actually a $45 billion hedge fund, and they have a fake Indian. And frankly, I think they give out fake degrees because it's all great inflation. So when you put all of this together, the conclusion is, why isn't a guy like me, who's put in the time, generated jobs, actually created value, like the other blue collar people in, in Massachusetts, actually representing this, um, the state? So the logic works out in that sense. The other piece of the logic, getting back to the numbers, 4.3 million registered voters in Massachusetts. 3 million vote in a presidential year. Only 2.3 million vote in a midterm, right? So when you work out those numbers and you find out, that when you look at those numbers, nearly 40 to 50% of even the Democrats are not happy with Elizabeth Warren. And most of the independents neither like the mass GOP establishment or do they like the uh, Elizabeth Warren option? So that's where I come in. Here's a guy, Shiva Adure, Shiva for Senate, who's against Monsanto. At the launch, you may, if, if people saw the video, um, there was a poignant a moment in there where uh, a woman spoke about the fact that she comes from a lineage of people who were in the mil military, World War I, World War II, her uncle died in Vietnam. And yet Elizabeth Warren supports Monsanto. She voted for the Monsanto Protection Act. Monsanto is the one who dropped 55,000 tons of Asian orange, which killed a lot of our veterans. And she continues to support Monsanto. Even Bernie Sanders took $18,000 from Monsanto. So when you put it together, I've been fighting them. So the Western part of the state where you have the people who are into organic food, farming, the Second Amendment people, they know the reality of this and they're gonna support me. The middle part of the state, you know, they don't want the fake Indian. You know, they know only the real Indian can defeat the fake Indian. And you got the innovators on the Eastern part of the state who are really looking for someone to represent them, not the elitist down the street. So we have declared our independence. And I think the other thing here, Owen, is our winning against Elizabeth Warren, my hope is that it sets an inspiration to everyone across this country. It was, it'll be Trump version 2.0. And that's what we need. We don't need these rigged parties. They're basically massively big corporations or private companies who operate as quote unquote nonprofits. The other big mission that we have is we must tax Harvard. $45 billion hedge fund. If you and I started a hedge fund, Owen, we're gonna get, we have to pay at least 20 to 25% tax. The money that we could generate from the endowment taxing on Harvard alone will be able to fund skills-based education right in Massachusetts. For every 17 skill job openings, only one person is skilled. Again, brought to you by the wonderful graduates of Harvard, a law school and business school. We need to put them all out of business, Owen, and that's what we're gonna do. And I don't want any of their support to do it. They don't deserve us. They don't deserve anyone listening here. We need to break from all of these political parties. They're a complete scam. Well, I completely agree. I think that what you have right now is a groundbreaking campaign. And when you're victorious, it will be another kind of Trump moment where it was like, what, really? Where did Trump come from? No way. How did he beat the whole establishment? That's basically what you're going up against. And I think you have the, the path to victory here. Um, you know, how dare you say that Harvard is a fake university, though? Because I've got a story for men's health right here. Harvard just hosted an anal sex workshop called What What in the Butt. I mean, that is clearly higher education. That's clearly what you expect from an Ivy League school. I want you to take that back, what you, what you said against Harvard. Come on. Well, you know, the other thing, Owen, is there's a, a great uh, story about a graduate student who's teaching a course and he gave the student an A minus. The student goes, argues with the professor and the professor forces the, the, the TA, the teaching assistant to give this kid an A. That's the kind of great inflation that goes on. 40% of Harvard is legacy admissions that, that get in there. And it's essentially an elitist network that they build. These people do not produce any value. They get way too much amount of prestige and we need to take them out in the sense that they need to start paying their taxes. No, I, I, I love this. I love this. Harvard is a fake university. That's literally what it is. They send people there and then they put them out with degrees to enter the establishment. And it's probably the same thing they do with NCAA athletes. They just give them A's so they can get out there with a pedigree. It's, it's of what's going on in the world right now is people are recognizing what really matters is us as people, right? It doesn't matter, you know, I supported Trump because he was a disruptor, but even he couldn't affect the elections in Alabama, right? The reality is 
those people are affecting elections are people, everyday people, because people are recognizing what's truth and what's lies. What's the establishment? Who are the people? That's what's going on. And this is an incredible time in American history. This has never occurred before, probably since the revolution. And we are truly on the verge of a, a second American revolution. People are recognizing what is the establishment and who are change agents and also who are the not so obvious establishment like Elizabeth Warren. Right? People are recognizing that people say one thing and do another. That is Dr. Shiva Ayodhuray. That is our guest for the rest of this segment. He was making that speech over the weekend when he announced he'll be running as an independent against Elizabeth Warren rather than a Republican. Uh, a brilliant move when you're looking at it now. It took me a while to realize it's actual brilliance, but it's amazing the point you just made there where you, you, you really did kind of personalize the entire issue for the voters saying, hey, look, you are the ones that will change the future. You are the ones that will decide the fate. You have to get out and vote. Bottom line, that's it. I mean, the, the reality is, you know, it's like these both these parties are literally uh, two heads of the same uh, serpent. You know, and it's isn't it interesting, Owen, when, whenever people vote for these elections, how many times do people say, oh, I had to choose a better of the two evils, which means you're always playing with the devil. Well, with our campaign here, they actually have a real option. They have the chance to be the light and move away from this darkness. And that's not what the founder of this of this country created. So part of one of the key themes of our campaign, there's three core pillars, right? Real health, uh, real jobs and clean government under clean government. Uh, part of what we're saying is, look, Harvard University, which is based in Massachusetts, is literally the epicenter of the sewer that feeds the swamp in Washington. And everyone needs to start recognizing that. If you remember Owen in Star Wars, when Luke Skywalker, he goes and takes out that one point in the Death Star and he takes it all out. Well, that's what Harvard University is. And we need to stop giving this institution all the power that we give it. So if you go back and look at that point, one of the key things we need to do is term limits now. And my goal is that A, anyone who served two terms in any public office needs to get the hell out. And what's fascinating is, I believe about 10, 15 years ago, the Supreme Court ruled against this, but half of the Supreme Court is guys from Harvard. That's what's really interesting. So we need to mm -hmm. probably start impeaching some of those judges out of there too, because they should have recused themselves. The other piece that's even more interesting in this is that we wanna promote the concept of $1 one vote, and I'll explain that to you. One dollar, one vote is a maximum that you can spend or you can raise in any campaign. So for example, Massachusetts, 4.3 million registered voters. That means a maximum you can raise for a federal race is $4.3 million. And if you can't win on that, then you should get the hell out of the way because it means your message sucks. You don't really have anything to really share with people. Our view is we're gonna do this campaign as every you know, hardworking entrepreneur has to do, which is you have to bring a strong message, it has to be real, and it has to meet the interests of the consumers and the customers. And if you can't do that, then you're cheating. And that's what these guys are doing. All these guys cheat on that. So those are the two central points of our clean government aspect of this campaign. When we move over to real jobs, which is another piece, uh, the, the key thing we wanna say here, Owen, is that we need to unleash Votech schools because we don't have enough skilled labor. We need to get rid of the fact that a medical student has to go to four years of undergraduate before they can even be a doctor. We wiped away 250,000 doctors on the ground and we replaced it with Obamacare and Romney Care. And what we really done is consolidate doctors into big hospitals. And the final point here, Owen, that I wanna make, I think the students listening to this or the people who are graduated who all took on predatory loans, we wanna give the rights for students to default on their loans. And let me explain why. These were predatory loans that were made. If you and I start a business, Owen, and we go to the local bank to get a loan, first thing they're gonna say is, hey, Owen and Shiva, show me your spreadsheet, show me your projections, and you know, show me what business you're gonna be in. And then they're gonna make a decision whether they wanna give us a loan or not, right? Well, how do they do with these students? A 16, 17 year old kid gums, comes to them, they give him a, 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 a bunch of paperwork. He doesn't have a chance to review it. He signs it. So many people are graduating with what they thought was an eight or $10,000 loan, and now they're having to pay $200,000. So my view is, hey, you big banks who profited a lot, took predatory loans, why didn't you ask that student, hey, what's the course of study you're doing? Oh, you're doing gender studies. Really? How are you planning on getting a job out of that? 
They didn't do that business analysis for that student. They didn't care to do that. They funded these guys knowing that they were going to get into hardship. And essentially, most of these people are essentially indentured servitude. So my view is we let them default on their loans. Why? Because, hey, this is an open and free market. Bush passed a rule saying that these students can default. Well, that's essentially rigging the market. So that'll force these banks to make much better decisions. They're the ones who cause the housing crisis and we all bail them out. Well, that kind of stuff's got to end. There's a $1.3 trillion bubble on these student loans. So my view is let's get everyone to be on the same page. What you right now have is Harvard University runs as a hedge fund, $45 billion, year over year profits. And these big banks who gave these predatory loans are making year, year over year profits. And what we're creating is a bunch of students who can't get jobs and they're essentially indentured servants on a plantation. That's what's really going on. The other point this, I want to bring about Elizabeth Warren is this has all been brought to you by Elizabeth Warren, a fake Indian who works at a fake university making $350,000 a year for teaching one class. You know, by the way, Elizabeth Warren's her key security advisor to all the people who know this about the Fed and, and the Council for Foreign Relations, her key advisor is a guy called Sasha Baker, who's part of the Council of Foreign Relations. Anyone who's studied this know that they're part of the deep state. So you have the not so obvious establishment in Massachusetts, supported by the Mass GOP, who has no interest in beating her, but the Shiva for Senate campaign, we're gonna represent the people and we're building this ground roots, uh, ground, ground movement to say we're gonna win as independents. We don't need these parties and it's about time we do that. So to your earlier point, Owen, it's to give power back to the people in a very fundamental way. Well, you're really uh, touching on some 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 good strings as far as my heart is concerned, because I was thinking about how Harvard needs. I mean, Harvard is such a fake university. I, I wasn't thinking that this weekend. And then you said fake university. And I was like, boom, that's perfect. And then these predatory loans. I don't think people really understand the the massive. Uh, just overall industry of the predatory loans. It goes even beyond just student loans. This is something a lot of construction companies will do in order to default on debt. A lot of media companies will do in order to default on debt. I will tell you this, I've been perfect, uh, actually victimized by this in two ways. Not only did I take student loans out, which I would actually disagree with you on the premise because I, even though I think it's a good campaign message to run on, especially in Massachusetts, I mean, I'm planning on paying all my student loans back, even though I may have been taken advantage of. I still had to sign on the dotted line. However, I was taken advantage of by a media company that took predatory loans out. They owed me thousands of dollars. They defaulted on their loans. And what they do is they trick you by putting the company as the person taking out the loan so they don't right. have to pay it as the individual. I know they all have millions of dollars still, but I never got my money. That's what you're trying to fight against. Well, Am I correct? Line, at, le at least... You, the rules got to go equal ways. It can't be one way and another way. You have to pay back your loans, but they don't, right? Yep. So they exactly. can go back, they can default, but you can't. Well, let's make the, my point is let's make it all even because then you have to make a business decision. So if you're a student- All right, bank, you got to hear more from Shiva, folks. He's an amazing guest. Shivaforsenate.com. Do not miss his campaign. It is amazing.